Again, welcome. My name is Dr. Hines. Again, um, I'm talking about a series of conversations that parents, guardians, and students should have about the whole college application process, applying to college, and getting into college. Um, again, if you have any uh, desires or concerns about my educational background, if you go to the link that's at the Attached to this video, you'll see a link to my blog, which will have my curriculum vita, which you'll be able to see my uh, educational and academic credentials. But today what I want to talk about is uh, admissions to college. And as a high school student, what are they responsible for and what should they collaborate with their school counselor for uh, in 2015 as far as applying to college? Um, the first thing that we will deal with is the college application. 90% of all college applications are done online. Let me repeat myself. 90% of all college applications are done online. So gone are the days where the school counselor will have a stack of paper applications and a child comes and they will write it out by hand. Um, those days are dead, if not slowly dying. It is up to the student to go to the school site um, to fill out the online application. The benefit for a student doing an online application is that they will receive their acceptance, their wait list, or their rejection letter much sooner than if they would if they applied through paper. Also, if there's any documentation or missing information, the school is able to communicate with the student much quicker if they do it online. Uh, some schools even offer a discount if you apply online as opposed to the paper application. And let me say this about the application fee. Some students uh, are eligible for a waiver for a college application. That could be through College Board, that could be through the ACT organization, and a number of different organizations that may be uh, in different public school settings that will promote students to apply to school. So first, students need to be advocates and ask the school counselor if, there are, if they are eligible for a waiver for a college application. And this is where parents really need to start teaching students to be advocates for themselves because a lot of students who are eligible for fee waivers don't get fee waivers because they never ask. Um, and so it's important for students to be their own advocates and ask. But parents, you also have the right to ask the school's counselor if your child is eligible for a school waiver as it pertains to a college application. The second thing it pertains to uh, the child's official transcript and their official scores to be sent to that particular college or institution. And this is kind of a twofold type of answer. One, we're dealing with the official transcript. The other thing, we're dealing with ACT or SAT scores that need to be sent to a school. As far as it pertains to the transcript, that must come from the school counselor. Schools do not want a photocopy of your high school transcript. They want an official copy. Most of the time it will have a raised stamp or seal at the bottom of the transcript that has to be, that has to be directly sent to the college or institution. Now they may look at an unofficial transcript uh, just in the determining factor of deciding if you get in or not. But in order to you to physically be a student at that institution, especially your final transcript, it must be an official copy from your school. Now, different schools have different methods as far as how school counselors um, will process the sending of your transcript. And again, this is where the student and the parent need to work together to communicate properly with the school counselor. Because a lot of times the students in the middle of the hallway at lunch will tell the school counselor, oh yeah, I applied to such and such school and I need you to send my transcript. And then a month later they find out that their transcript was never sent. That's not the proper way that you send that information to a school counselor. Some school counselors have sign-up sheets. Some school counselors will provide or require that you email them. 
First, you need to find out the method that the particular school counselor or the school is using to process uh, the transcripts being sent out to the school. I can tell you the larger the high school, uh, the more streamlined the process is and the more direct the process is. The smaller the school, it can be a little bit more informal, but the larger the school to deal with that, and sometimes in some schools, it's not even the school counselor who's processing it, it's the school registrar. So it's important that the student understands the process as pertaining to transcripts. And it's the same way with SAT, or A, uh, SAT and ACT scores. Now understand that when the student takes the SAT or ACT test, they are given a number of schools that they can send their scores automatically to. And it's important that students use that opportunity because it is it is built into the fee that they are paying to take the test. So let's say, for instance, they take the SAT test and the SAT is giving them five schools that they can have their scores sent to. It's important that the students send the scores to five schools that they're interested in applying to. Otherwise, if they want to wait until after they take the test to have the scores sent, they're going to have to pay an additional fee. And their home school or their high school will get a copy. But again, the schools do not want a photocopy of their scores from the school. They want an official copy from either College Board or ACT. So it's important that when your child signs up to take the test that they take advantage of the free schools or the schools that they can send it to for no additional charge. And lastly, I will say at the end of the day, it is up to the student to make sure that they have completed the online application, that they've sent all required information, whether an essay is, is needed, whether a teacher recommendations are needed, whether counselor recommendations are needed. It is up to the student to make sure that that is done. And parents, you can help by going and checking and making sure that the student has filled out everything. Because after 10 years of doing this, I can tell you that even the brightest of students will forget to send information. And also parents, be in communication with your school counselors, either through email or through a phone call, to make sure that that information is sent to the school. And in a number of situations, you have students, especially in the public school setting, that may be in alternative school settings that may not be actually attending that school, but that home comprehensive school is responsible for sending out that transcript, SAT slash, uh, ACT score. It is important that the parent reiterate follow up with that school counselor to make sure that there's done because in most schools, if the student is attending the school, there's a high chance that their information may not be processed. Is it fair? No, but does it happen? Yes. And so to make sure that your child is not lost in the mix, you need to be in collaboration. And sometimes email is the best way because it's documentable that you're requesting that the transcript be sent. Now, in some schools, there is a fee that you have to pay to send your transcript and scores out. And you need to pay that to make sure that that information is sent out again to the college of your choice to make sure that your application package is sent so that you can get an acceptance letter or you can get a decision as soon as possible. If the college or university is missing information, it can delay you getting a response on your decision on getting in that school. Again, thank you so much for your time. Uh, and the information that I have on this video, I have a link to my blog. Again, you can see that. You can comment on any of the topics that I cover in my blog. Also, if you feel so inclined to contribute to me uh, to help these videos continue so that I can help you with your child in this process, feel free to go to PayPal, use my email address, and send whatever contribution that you so need because it is greatly appreciated uh, as I continue to provide these services for you and your child. Thank you.